Hey there guys, we new here. Welcome back to Let's Play uh, d d Dark Souls. Last we met, we made it through Isolith. And we're fighting the Bed of Chaos, which is, um, as we've established, a boss that is not frustrating in the sense of hard to beat, but frustrating in the sense that it is mechanically unfair. So we will s the holes remain. Well, that's probably the fastest death I've ever had. At least it puts your souls at the top of this place. That's uh, definitely helpful. In some aspect or another. <laughs> I'm not sure in the grand scheme of things if it's that helpful, but sure. So it's weird that... Oh, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, if you've already got the big burn and branch, we're starting in phase two? Is that... I understand now. Can I, like, sneak back here? <laughs> Hell yeah, I can. Hell yeah, brother. Oh, well, that's gonna be a problem. Don't, don't do it. Don't. Okay, I gotta say, the run back... Oh, they don't spawn back at the top here. That sucks. Um, okay. I gotta say, the run back is not fun. Uh, it's not, like, difficult. It's just, it seems far away, but I've had longer running back, so I don't know what I'm bitching about. So, is it not recommended to... go, uh go the distance as it is, as it were. That might have been impeccable timing. Woo! There we go. Two. Sweet shit. I'm sure getting out of here is going to be just as big of a whoa! <laughs> I didn't see the hole. <laughs> Still was way too late. So now the big question is going to be do I start at the last phase or do I have to destroy one of the side pieces again? Because if I just start at the last phase, and this seems like it's going to be really easy. Um, he says with absolutely no idea if it's going to be easy or not. Oh my god! Okay, easy is a concept invented by the Jedi. Hold on, I see a branch. Whoop! I made it. Branch is home. Branch is life. Roll. Did I make it? Stab it in the butt. Imminent dashing through. Hey, we got the Lord Soul. Sweet shit. Oh, and a bonfire. Thank God. Oh. I was anticipating having to run out of this place, but then again, I don't know how I would leave. Well, back at Firelink, uh, back in town, we only have one other way in which to explore. Um, we have New Londo, which is full of my boys, the ghost galaxies that are hanging out down there. Now, Saint Nicholas told me that I need to be cursed. But it doesn't look like I have anything that curses. Mm. Yeah, no, I don't think I do. How does one become cursed? 
I have found it. Um, so I remember reading about this a long time ago about a transient curse. And I believe that's what Nick had mentioned uh, before is if I had any of these. But I was unsure of where to get them. Um, it turns out this lady sells them. And I had to dig into the deepest reaches of my little noggin to remember that. But I did. I also uh, spent some of these bigger souls that I have just hanging around here. Um, so I could get another level up out of it. I might as well just use these nine right here. Also these boss souls, I could probably use those, but for some weird reason I'm just not. Probably should though. Holy moly. Uh, because I imagine they're not... Uh, very useful now that I have the Moonlight Butterfly Spear. Because I'm guessing, uh... I'll buy all four of them. Thanks, lady. You're a, you're a swell, swell pal. Uh... I probably don't need them because I have the Moonlight Butterfly Spear. It's not like I'm going to be crafting any more boss weapons or anything like that, so it might be worth just using those and then getting level ups out of them. But again, I just haven't made that commitment yet, I guess. All right, it is time to put this to the test, shall we? I guess, well, technically I could equip it here. Um, transient curse, y'all, y'all, y'all. There we go. The only way to kill a ghost is to be a ghost, I guess. So how long does Transient Curse last, and how do I know that it's working? Well, that's certainly a sign. Pretty radical. Well, now this place should be no problem, right? Now that I can actually fight back against these things? Again, I say that with absolutely no knowledge of what actually awaits me in this place. Outside of just spooky ghost town. Excuse me. Okay, I forgot you guys still are like MLG pros when it comes to range. Or do they respawn? Because I wouldn't be surprised at that either. I mean, I would hope they don't respawn. I'm getting souls from them. Hmm. Let's go this way. What the fuck? Like, coming up through the floors and shit? What's going on? I still want to make that jump, but I'll suppress the urges. Kill whatever this thing is. Since that's killed me once. Jeez Louise! It looks like fucking Winchester Mystery House up in here. Is that it? Is this just Crunchy Bone Town? I guess so. Alright, now I can climb up this ladder in peace. Which is either gonna not be a good idea or an incredibly good idea. We're on a roof? Oh. Hello. My fellow uh robe wear. You don't say. The Lord Vessel. Very impressive. I know exactly what your intentions are. You seek the four kings whom I guard over. This is the key to the seal. Literally. The four kings slumber in the deepest chamber of the ruins. Use this key to break the seal and open the floodgates. Oh, and do not forget. The dark wraiths reside in a dark void 
call it the abyss. But the abyss is no place for ordinary mortals. Although, long ago, the knight Artorius traversed the abyss. If you can find him and learn from him, the abyss may prove surmountable. I found his grave. Does that count for anything? I did get the abyss ring that allows the abyssal traversal. So I guess we're pretty we're pretty well set up for this place, I guess, as the the long short of it. Is there another ghost slapping the walls? Yep. Okay. I guess we'll try to find out where this key goes to. Uh, what? You wanna, you wanna come down here and say it to my face? I can't, I can't get you from up there. You're, you're too spooky. Alright, forget it. I think I have to make that jump that I tried to make last time that <laughs> fell into the water very quickly afterwards. Um... At least that's my guess of what I gotta do. I don't really see a whole lot of other ways to go. Well, actually, maybe not. Oh man, you don't even have to make that jump. What a joke. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Ugh. More green titanite that I don't need. I can feed that to my boy. The the noodle man with the jowls, you know who I'm talking about. I can't remember his name right now. Contraption does not move. Oh. Okay. Oh, so we're draining new Londo? Yikes. When do I gotta equip this ring? And I know I have the ring that breaks when you unequip it equipped, but it gives you a ton of health, stamina, and maximum equipment load. But I'm not sure where I'm at in terms of rolling and if, uh, it sure is, a uh, gross down here. Oh, it's extra gross down here. There are many uh, dead people and dragons. Why are there dragons? Who are you? I'm sorry, what? Fucking Magneto? You suck. Uh... I hope there's, uh... Try jumping. Try a somersault. Oh yeah, jumping certainly gets me up there. What about these dragons? Are they threatening at all? Are you guys, uh, bad news bears? Whoa! Ow! <laughs> okay. Lesson learned. Don't touch the dragons. Well, this place is certainly a little bit different now that it's drained, especially this beginning part is a little bit different. Almost looks like there's more stuff to get around here. Be weary of fall. Oh, I'm weary of it, all right. A firekeeper soul. 
No way. I could like upgrade my Estus with that, right? What a find. Oh man, there's like stuff everywhere now. Hmm. All right, well, we'll keep it to simple exploration. Since I think we were on the right track previously. All sorts of items I'm getting now. I found a ring that gives me curse resistance, but I mean, I kind of want to be cursed right now, so I'm not sure what the use of that would be, unless there's enemies up ahead that are going to start casting curse, which would be a disaster. Alright, well, let's go down again. See what awaits us. Seems like this place is a lot bigger than I initially gave it credit for. But I'm also very curious then about uh, bonfires. Okay, we know now dragons are bad news bears. And then there's fucking Magneto over here. Thinks it's hot shit. I thought that was a door. Where does that lead to? Does that lead to the, the dragon place that I saw earlier in the game? And I think everyone in the comments was like, yeah, there really isn't anything there. Is it just like a sh shortcut down here, but those gates would be closed? That's what I would assume that it is. Why is there a blood stain back here? What killed this man? I'm like scared at every turn. Something moving out there. Is it you, Magneto? Yeah. Magneto's cousin. Ow. suck. So, again, I'll ask, when do I need this abyss ring equipped? Need parrying. What am I going to parry? Magneto? I hear something lurking in the darkness. Dark hand. What are you? I don't like it. I'm sorry, what in tarnation am I fighting? Big face globs? Sure. Yeah. Miyazaki's like, go ahead, add it. I'm sure there's some interesting ass lore stuff going on around here, but... I was also going to say, like, who, how would you have known that you had to be cursed to fight ghosts unless you read item descriptions? And like, why would I read item descriptions? What am I, Dark Souls wiki? The big problem with that is there's no like natural way to discover it. I guess unless you get cursed and then randomly wander down here and you're like, oh, I can kill ghosts now. We have hit water again. 
but I can't see shit, Captain. So, <laughs> uh, I don't know which way to go. For some reason, I feel more safe going this other way. So that's what I'll do. Because it leads up. And not down. And that's my logic. And I'm sticking with it. I also feel like this might not be the way forward. more uh, magnetos up here or no? Hmm. We're going way up. Okay. Bean pole ahead. Does that mean it's a mimic? Very large ember. It was a trick note. I thought because I kicked it first, I was like, oh, that's a sure tell sign that that's a mimic, but I guess not. I guess I could just randomly kick chests that I feel like are out of place. Nothing. Okay. Uh, then into the waterness area we go. Does my lamp still work? No, it just turns stuff orange now. <laughs> it's really odd. Ah, I was waiting for another one of you. Sure, there's another one around here somewhere. That man's whole ass is out. Let's go say hi. There's lots of items just hanging around. Cracked red eye orb. Okay, okay. Cool. Ah. didn't think that would actually do that much damage, but lo and behold. You're something gross. Is that another, like, face ball? Face blob thing? Okay. Oh yeah, I see him in the darkness there. But there's also some magnetos hanging out. Two magnetos. It's a family reunion. Ooh. You've got some attacks. I, I don't know what that attack is when he starts like looking up like that, but I don't want to find out. And there's this idiot. That's easy. Easy peasy. There sure are a lot of dead things around here. Okay. Interesting. Oh. Can't sneak up on me like that, Magneto. Sorry, what was that? Get a new attack. Or at least one that I've never seen before. I don't know what it did or what it was supposed to do. How do I get down to that fog gate? Is that where I need to be going? Oh, it's just... Pfft. 
down we go. There has got to be a bonfire nearby. Like, I know it's some silly shit when I start saying that repeatedly, but <laughs> this... If there is a boss anywhere near this, it would be one hell of a walk back. I'm sorry, do these stairs go forever or something? Oh, mama. Do I jump down? Is this where I need the ring equipped? I'm so nervous about the whole ring thing. And I'm also afraid that this is going to drop me into fat rolling or medium rolling. We'll try it. Well, we certainly made it. I move super slow down here. Hi. You must be one of uh, four kings that I have heard about. No, oh, he's kissing me. You don't do a whole lot of damage. Is there a reason for that? <laughs> I tried to kill him before he did whatever that was. Wait, is, is this the concept of this fight? I gotta fight multiples of these dudes, but they aren't like the strongest things on the planet, but I move really slow. What the, what in the fuck? Did you stop? Kicking him? That ain't doing nothing. <laughs> oh man, he's giving me a kiss again. I mean, yeah, you guys aren't really all that threatening. At least not yet. Fucking that last attack should have had him. Oh, right into a kiss. <laughs> Let me go. So if I've killed two kings, I've got two left. Okay. Jesus. I'm like, time your rolls. God, I'm gonna, like try to avoid like ten different things at once. Oh, uh. what? Whoop! <laughs> All right, cool beans. There's notes over here, though. Lamp. Here. 
here what? Oh. <laughs> Was that really? That fight seemed redonkulously easy. Like jokingly easy. <laughs> huh. Okay. Well, who am I to question it, I guess? You know what? Let's yeah, let's let's just put these into intelligence. Keep leveling it up with damage. Well, I guess we should uh you know go to uh, uh oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's something urgent, you idiot. Dude acts like I'm not on a quest or something. Just like what you want. Alright. Bye bye. Ooh, look at those frickin' Slim Jim fingers. Spears like comedically big. Sweet shit. Got anything to say about it, Framped? Hey, I remembered his name. So are you just gonna... Yeah, so take me back, son. Jesus. So does that lead to, like, the last area of the game kind of deal? Is that what we're looking at here? I'm gonna guess that it does, but I don't know for sure. Um, you. Yeah. Sweet shit. Alright. Let's... Let's use up these last couple of... Souls that I got just hanging around these boss ones, I guess. They don't have, like, any... <sighs> the, these don't have any use outside of creating boss weapons, right? And I... I'm pretty much set. So, I feel like I can just use these without worrying about it. Okay, now that I put on Hobble's Ring again, I probably was just fat rolling in the abyss. Well, I guess we'll just uh, head on in, shall we? Is this just like a last boss fight? Oh my god. Killing of the first flame. Wow. Well. I see enemies. So we're definitely not out of the clear yet. In terms of, uh... People trying to steal our lunch money. Black Knight Shield and Tight Knight Chunks. Are Tight Knight Chunks what I need to upgrade the butter, butter beer? Okay, no. I ran my ass all the way back to the bonfire just to check. Make sure I wasn't stupid. No, it's Demon Tight Knight is what I need to level this up. Which makes sense, but I just forgot. Now I've got a sword. Hello? 
Is this like a full-fledged area, or are we just talking like uh, just a couple of bad boys leading up to the leader of the bad boys? Wow. Swing swung in your big sword around like it's gonna do something. Okay. And I know people mention that there's like DLC and stuff for this, but I don't know if I... Yeah. I don't know if I'm committed to wanting to do the DLC or not. Would it be a good idea? Maybe. Oh yeah, I'd love to see you get over here. Okay. Point taken. Bye. Let's pick up the Black Knight set. I'm sure that's heavier than shit. Yeah, good gravy. It's way heavy. But very good armor. Hmm. I don't know. I, I want to put on a new set of armor because I know that what I'm wearing is not the greatest. But I also know that uh, armor becomes like so insignificant in the grand scheme of things of these games. Sorry, what direction do I go? This way? Okay. See a fog gate down there. Hello. Good gravy. Well, I'm coming with you. <laughs> this time I will not follow you down. You can go on your own. I'll leave you to your own devices down there. Ah, oh, another spear boy. My fellow spear wielder. Hi. Woo! These guys are so easy now. Like, it, it's silly now that I recognize their pattern. Fog <sighs> gate. Hi. Jesus. That's one way to introduce yourself. Calm down, son! Woo! Well, you're aggressive as fuck. Okay, double healing, not a thing. Don't worry about it. It's not going to happen. How dare you just kick me? What is that all about? <sighs> okay. All right. All right. <sighs> well, unfortunately, I do know Gwyn is last boss, so... I was right, in that regard. Okay, rolling into him did not work. Just want to let everybody know, that did not work. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Alright, third time's the charm. That time, that worked real well. Jesus. Okay. 
Man, it really feels like healing is just not even worth it. <laughs> because healing, like, the animation itself is a big enough window for him to hit me. And his attack does almost a whole Estus worth of damage. So it's silly. Oof. God damn. Oh. Probably my best attempt, but still not nearly good enough to even warrant talking about. <laughs> I've also started YOLO running back where I just... <laughs> right when I'm explaining it, where I just don't kill the enemies is what I was going to say. Oh my god. Because this run back is not difficult at all. Like, the, killing these guys is easy peasy. But it just seems so long in distance that I'm just like, ah. Wish there was a way to make it faster. <laughs> Alright. Whoa. Is it weird that I'm starting to... I'm, I'm starting to recognize his patterns. I mean, that's like how boss fights are supposed to go, but like at first I was convinced that he just like didn't have a pattern. This rock to my advantage. <laughs> no. Oh man, I was like. I had a plan. I was like, I'm going to get behind that rock and I'm going to heal. <laughs> and that just did, went downhill. It's like the littlest edge of his sword hit me. All right. How did that hit me? Oh, I 
I was mashing circle. Let's try to get out of there. Just didn't work. So I'm gonna try two handing this. Um, because I haven't tried two handing it before. What a wombo combo. Um, I haven't tried two-handing it because I feel like my shield was working pretty well in my first couple attempts because I was playing way more defensively. But I feel like, as I've learned with bosses, like it, it, my shield isn't doing a whole lot against him. He can break it in like one swing, so... It's just worth it probably to just go for the extra damage in two-handing and trying to just evade attacks rather than block them. Whoa! That was pretty unfair. I don't know what took so much health from me at the beginning there, but that was nuts. <laughs> I, I try to roll and my guy jumps instead. But that's the worst. Oh, please. Just <laughs> let me heal. Oh my god. <sighs> Alright. Now we're serious. I sincerely feel like there should be a closer bonfire to Gwyn. Like, I'm not killing enemies, and walking back takes like two to three minutes. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So him grabbing is my biggest window of opportunity for damage, I've noticed. Because I usually get two hits on him when he does that. And don't have to worry about uh, any big like retaliation or anything. See, like that, yeah. I knew he was gonna stab me. No, oh, the wombo combo every time. That's been like. A majority of my deaths. All right. Finally, for once, I don't get clobbered by his opener. I just get clobbered by everything else. <laughs> He still got me, even with hiding. Same right there. No, you piece of shit. <laughs> ah! The Estes animation. Okay, I'm telling you, that, that run back is getting to me. Like, it is unnecessarily long, in my opinion.
<laughs> oh, the wombo combo. Yeah, do the stab retaliation. You know, him trying to grab me is also a good time to heal. Step. Saw it coming from a mile away. Don't wombo combo me. Jesus. Take the risk. Ooh. <laughs> He's like, ran over to me. He's like, no healing. Ah. Uh. Don't do it. Time to heal. Woo! Oh. God. Wow. My heart is racing. I should have played this game with a heart monitor on screen. <laughs> that would have been wild. Oh man. Sheesh. Well, that was intense. Oh, you got way too close to the fire, my guy. Let your whole robe's on fire. And I die anyway. Um. Jeez. What a, <laughs> what a final fight. Not overtly complicated, just... Gwyn does so much damage. That was nuts like within two to three hits could kill you and like just that paired with how fast he retaliates against certain things it was just insane but really fun fight i thoroughly enjoyed that and i thoroughly enjoyed dark souls ow i dropped my controller on my toe the final boss your own controller that was a lot of fun i enjoyed that quite a bit Oh my god, new game plus. <laughs> We're not doing new game plus. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys for watching Dark Souls. Uh, this has been probably the most fun I've had with an LP in a long time. Like, this was so fun to do. Uh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, I cannot wait to do the second one. And I can't wait to uh, see the final scores of what boss I struggled with most, but off the top of my head, who did I, who do I think I had the most deaths to? You know what? That's easy. I, it took me a minute to think about it, but you know what? Ornstein and Smo was easily 
the most I struggled with a boss. I feel like I think that easily has to be the most deaths. I mean, I'll put a screen at the end of this that shows all of my deaths against all the bosses, but uh, not including DLC bosses because obviously we didn't do the DLC. But um, I think Orange Scene and Smo is the most deaths from memory. I think and the most I struggled with the boss, but that's again like Ornstein and Smo was so like annoying to me because I was forced to do it the way that I didn't want to do it, which was turned out to be way easier than the way I was trying to do it. Uh, but you know what? Like <laughs> that's just the way it ended up, and that's what led to me getting the Moonlight Butter Spear. So I don't mind it at all. It turned out to be uh, a lot of fun. And either way, um, the, uh, I never killed the washing machine in, in Orlando. And then the washing machine in Isolith apparently respawns, uh, as St. Nicholas has commented in a previous video. So I guess I could have grinded that if I wanted to make a plus five, uh, butter spear, but I didn't need it. I did not need it. So until next time when we will do. Dark Souls 2. Although I've heard very mixed things about Dark Souls 2. I hear it's the worst of the Dark Souls out of the three of them. Uh, because I think they go with quantity over quality with bosses, uh, is what I've heard. But uh so it has like a shitload of bosses, but I guess they're all like some of them are just really not great or really easy or just copies of other ones, is what I've heard. So We'll see you then. Thanks for watching. This has been your host, as per usual, we and Neo. I'll see you on whatever comes next. Bye bye for now.